Tonight, a father grieves for his 16-month-old son who drowned in the family's backyard pool. In North Miami at a home where two children were found unconscious in the pool. A toddler went overboard and drowned in Biscayne Bay. Von Delson Normal is presumed dead after friends say he was caught up in a rip current Friday in Gulfstream Park. His apparent drowning is the third among teenagers in our region since April. Rivera Beach for a seven-year-old boy died after walking into a retention pond. <laughs> Did you know that Broward and Miami-Dade counties are number one and two in drowning deaths annually? We lose more children on an annual basis than any other county in the nation. Unfortunately, one August day, um, my daughter, my youngest daughter, uh, found her way out to our backyard pool and um, drowned. And uh, at that moment, it just changed who I was and everything that um, I thought I knew. At 3.46 p.m., when I checked out of the grocery store, I loaded my car with the groceries. I drove from the grocery store to my home. At 4.15 p.m., I look at the emergency room clock and my life had changed. 29 minutes of shopping for a family of five, planning dinner, um, to now this happening. When my son Alec was 12 years old, he had a best friend named Jenny Wen. They were inseparable. They talked on the phone, they texted, they Skyped, and were so excited to go to a birthday party. In April 2011, they went to a friend's birthday party and it was a swim party. And unfortunately, Jenny didn't know how to swim. That day, she lost her life. Drowning is extremely quick and, and extremely quiet. Most drowning victims go under without a splash. So being right there isn't good enough. Um, it's, you need to be watching. Over the last six years, we've lost four classrooms of children in South Florida. Think about that for a second. Think about those children. They're never gonna have that opportunity to walk across stage at graduation, go to their senior prom. Think about those four classrooms of children's parents and families and siblings and all the other people that this incident has affected. We know that we can't do this alone, and we need your help. Um, we need your help to make sure that all children are safer around the water, and you have an opportunity to help us um, make sure that we save lives. It really is just that simple.